<laughs> Let me get to my first topic. Why do you think American men are the only group of men that want to go 50-50? Can you can you explain the context real quick of that? Well, I had a video. I mean, you like send the video, but um That's nice. so it was a guy in the video, he was saying that um he was talking to his his African friend or whatever, and they was laughing at the idea of going 50-50 with their woman, like, oh, that's not a that's not a wife, that's a roommate. You know what I mean, it's like, yo, PSA for American guys, uh, y'all supposed to provide that shit. Like, and basically, like the rest of the world, they don't do that. It's just here in America. Why, why do y'all think that is? Like, I think, um, I think that's a problem in America because guys have this whole, like, what do you bring to the table? mindset i think that has something to do with it um because if you're like if you you care about what i'm bringing because you don't want to like do everything on your own or feel like you're you're doing everything mm -hmm. so i feel like that's kind of where it comes in just like the i guess they have more expectations for women versus in like other countries where it's just like you just play the role of a wife or whatever just take care of the kids whatever you don't have to do anything but here in america the man is like what do, it's not what the man. Do? Women fought for equality. Sorry? It's the woman. Y'all fought for equality. But uh, uh, we're gonna get to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I wanna I wanna hear what you I wanna hear what you want to say about this topic too. Like. I ain't never had nobody be like, let's go 50 50. 50 50 is crazy. I mean, but you, I feel you, like you, that you, is you, you were shit with my man there. Like I feel like I feel like that's like that really is like some roommate shit though. Like if we live to, well, not really. If we live together, like, I'm going to want to pay something. I'm not going to ever expect you to just fully pay everything. Mm. I'm gonna, If you pay the rent, I'm like, all right. The gas is electricity. due. I'll take this. So I'll take yeah. the cable. I'm going to pay something. I'm not going to expect you to pay this, this, that, and the third. Oh, we got two cars. Now you got to pay both cars. No. no. Never going to do that. Mm. So I don't mind going 50-50, but to a certain extent. Are you paying it because you want to help your family or because you don't want him to be able to throw that at nah, you? Nah, I'm paying it because that's just me. I would want to do it. I appreciate I that. Wanna, that means so much I different to a man. I'm, I'm like, I, I know. I agree with Jasmine. Mm. Yeah. I agree with that. And you, yeah, I think that's 50-50? It depends. What, what she, she said? said? Yeah. No, it's not 50-50 because 50-50 is literally... 50 50 like, like straight right. down the middle right. like if the rent is a thousand dollars you put 500 you mm. put 500 break it that's, down to the maze that's 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 that's, 50, that's the misconception 50. that's a misconception so what is 50 50 exactly what she said well it, it, that, but, that's, but that's not really that that's situational mm. right that is situational yeah, that's it got, not 50 -50. it got some relationships where yeah, i might break everything down the middle you feel me and that's but, really 50 -50. but to me and i'm guessing to y'all too yeah. that's 50 50 like we just want yeah want y'all to contribute to what we're trying to do build generational wealth like you don't have to split it down the middle, but if I'm paying rent and the car note, yeah, you can pay the gas bill, yeah, you can pay the water bill. Like just help me out. Right, but I agree with that. But that would get mad as hell about that. Like they will really. Yeah, that's why I said it all it's, comes it's down to the yeah. type of girl that you're dealing with at right. the end of the day. Because someone like ja Jasmine and myself, mm -hmm. I don't want you to do everything, mm -hmm. do Espe everything especially if. I'm getting to my own bag and I got money. Like, mm -hmm. I'm going to contribute, you know, where I can. Mm -hmm. But also another thing, though, sometimes guys don't really even, like, want you to contribute, though. There are guys mm -hmm. that would deny a woman giving them money out of, like, a pride thing. Mm -hmm. So... It's not pride. Another... Some, some guys want to do that. But at the same time, we still want the, the option to say no. We want to hear that you're interested in helping us. Mm -hmm. Okay. And your 50 might be taking care of the house. Like that might be, yeah. your you know what I mean. Yeah, you your don't taking have to care of the house as far as like cleaning, doing the laundry, cooking. But that, all that happens automatic. Like no. not oh, okay. Hold on, no, wait. No, no, I stopped no, myself. No, hold on, no. not automatically, uh, not automatically, because there are girls that don't do that. Exactly. But it it should it's it's like an unspoken rule. But it should be if the man is doing everything as a woman. Yeah, you should be taking care of the house. It should be. And if that's your if that's what you call fifty fifty, then that's totally fine. Mm -hmm. Like, I agree I with think, that. I think it's different because, you know, American women is way more unique than women in other countries. You get what I'm saying? They have, mm -hmm. you know, the ability to work. You know, they, they're, um, you know, they can earn, they have much more of an earning potential than women in other countries. Like, mm -hmm. so, you know, it's different because, you know, um, the, and I don't think the quality of women is the same. I'm going to be honest with you. Because when I find when men go out and date women outside the U.S., they have no pro problem providing because they know the quality of women that, 
you know, they're going what to get. get yeah. In America, you really don't, you can provide everything and you that doesn't guarantee you loyalty. It doesn't guarantee you any more submission. That don't guarantee you any more femininity. It don't guarantee you anything if you are a provider in America as mm-hmm. as if, you know, women in other countries. You get what I'm saying? So, like I said, the quality of women, this ain't our grand, like our grandparents and our great grandparents, those women were drastically different from the modern women that we deal with in America That's today. Right? You know what I mean? So- what caused that change? What do you think caused the change in women? Uh, it, is it the it, it, women or no, is it also it, it, the men? The feminism caused it because mm. when you when you say things like, you know, you want equality or you want to be equal to a man, what bigger symbolism of equality is 50-50? Like you get what I'm saying? Like Selective women in other feminism. Yes, women mm-hmm. in other countries they're not trying to compete and be equal to their mates. So you get what I'm saying? So of course they could fall back and, you know, be that nurturer or be in that X, Y, and Z for their man. And I just feel like men in America are feeling like they're calculated. So if I'm providing for you and you're not, you know what I mean, giving me those things, it's not guaranteed. Like you said, cooking and cleaning, you know, the sex, everything is not guaranteed in, in America for women. Like you get what I'm saying? So it's like, why am I really risking my fin- finances for a woman that it's not really guaranteed? And I get it. It should be that way. But since we live in this era of women feeling like they don't need a man, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So they're not going to really give their all to them to their man for the most part. Like you get what I'm saying? So... I think, like I said, fifty fifty is all situational. I I believe with you know like like y'all said like it don't necessarily have to be split down the middle. But I need to know that if you're working, your finances is contributing to the family, not to me. You know what I mean? Because ultimately, what we're trying to do is build generational wealth. Mm-hmm. I cannot, especially with inflation, the cost of living in these other countries is way lower than in America. So of course they could pay. That's why these motherfuckers be having a hundred wives and shit. Because <laughs> it, of course it's easy to pay for. Uh, it's a hundred dollars get ten. Yeah, like you know, it's like, easy to pay for that. Inflation <laughs> is extremely high in America. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So you know, when even when them niggas come to America, they they might be, hey, you trying to go half of those bills? Like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's a little bit different. Like you get what I'm Word. saying? So. You know, I think men are much more calculated, so they're like, mm-hmm. all right, well, if I'm not guaranteed these things in, in my woman, why am I going to provide necessarily all of these things to a woman? Like, you get what I'm saying? So, Let, mm-hmm. let alone, if you, <laughs> if they follow those rules, right, if the women want a man that's like out of there, one, it's, loyalty is different out there, because I could have 10 wives... And I'll be popping all eight coochies at the same time. You get what I'm saying? So, and yeah. y'all got to just stand by that. You get what I'm saying? All that talking back. What? What you say, Jay? Ain't no you ain't never back. talking ain't back. Gonna, ain't no talking back. Hi, y'all. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> they going <laughs> off. Thing is that hi, y'all. I'm just saying that I, it's just not the same. Yeah. And if you, I'm not saying that's what I'm interested in. I was just about to ask you that. Is that what you want? No, that's not what I'm interested in. <laughs> that's what I was about to ask we, you. Yeah. We, we, we uplift our woman and want you to be <laughs> equal in, in, that, in that aspect. You know what I'm saying? Like we said, everything is not financial. Mm. But if y'all compare, like women be like, yeah, I need me a man from out of here because they take care of their wives. And mm. No, those wives be going through a whole nother scenario. So mm. if that's what y'all want to sign up for, take y'all asses over there. But if y'all want a real man, y'all got to help us out. I had a guy I was talking to, him. <laughs> mm. and he said to me, because I would ask him, like, why you don't do certain things? He was he looked at me, he said, you act just like me. You think I want to do all this thing for a nigga? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not I, alphabet people, because uh, I don't want to say, like, uh, the yeah. word. Yeah. I'm not, like, I'm not dating a guy. I'm dating a female. Like, you just act so, you not submissive enough for me to want to do these things, because I'm right. like... Why you don't buy me flowers? He's like, I'm not buying flowers for no nigga. Like, you're wild. And like, he would really say that to me. Like, no. Mm. He called you bro? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. So, like. So, that that doesn't make you want to, as a woman, I don't make you want to reevaluate your femininity. He and how need to you... want me to reevaluate my femininity for something like that. But why? But why? If he you... just told you, I'm not going to provide this lifestyle for you because you are pretty much me. Like, why should he, why should he have to, you already proved to him that you ain't the type of woman that he should be providing for. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he did. So basically <laughs> what it is, men want someone who's like, um, like damsel in distress or whatever. That's what you guys want. want you want man. someone to be. Man. We don't want that, but I'm going to let you know. But yeah, no, yeah. but you guys, you do what, you would rather a girl who's more. Dumb. Not dumb, but more. Submissive. S- Submissive, but not really submissive, because I feel like it takes time to get to the. the, No, submissive is not a trigger word for me. But someone that's more like, I guess, softer. If a girl's more feminine, right? 
that makes you want to do more for her? Is that? Like, I mean, what you that's naturally I mean, what uh, what men are attracted uh, to if femininity. You, if you see a if you, if you see an old lady right, walking down the street with bags on her hand, you want to help her, right? Because she she's struggling with her bags, right? If you see a man walking down the street, you going to help him. Oh, you want to help people who, who look and, like they want to be helped. If I see an old exactly. man you guys, down the street, so you yeah, guys are looking me. for charity cases. But he want to be like, oh, yeah, and that's the issue. We're not looking because that's how y'all try to make it seem. Because when you do find someone who's strong and doesn't really come off as I need it's you to do much. all these things, mm. y'all step back. She's a strong girl. She's not giving. I need you to do this or I want you to do that. So he's like, I'm not doing these things for you because you don't really give that vibe that no, you she, need. She's that. not giving no, no. a feminine yeah, vibe. Exactly. You know what I mean? She he she, just said she could do all of that, but it's the way she acting while she. She's very tough. You I, know asked him so to put, like, I asked this. I said, "Can you put this table together for me?" He said, "How you said it?" I said, "Say, you, say how you said it." No, because I said, "Can I had just had surgery?" I said, "Can you put this table together for me?" Mm. The table sat there two weeks. I asked him for two weeks straight. Can two weeks straight? Can you put that table together for me? Mm. That means that I put that table together. I put that table together in ten seconds. Mm. Stitches and everything. I'm not mm. acting submissive to you. And Ooh, she, bitch. she has a point. Yeah, but you probably already came off. You didn't you didn't lead with your femininity. Like I, get, I said, can you please put the if you see I'm saying when y'all first started talking, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when y'all first started, you didn't lead with femininity. You you probably led with your masculinity, which nah, is why he, he, knew, he said he knew he knew what he was getting himself into. He knew me for a very long time. That's why he said you mad. And, and did and did you know what you was getting yourself into? <laughs> no, and I <laughs> So basically Wish masculine girls don't still deserve to get that same treatment though why, but yeah. why when we could go men are saying you we could go out of the country and get women who exude in their femininity in america this is why i said america is very unique mm -hmm. only in america do we have women who are fighting to prove to men that they're masculine like men, is, men in other countries ain't saying fight. yo you know what i need me american women ain't no man in no other country ever said that but you know, yeah they do when they need those I, papers i realize yeah, that's about when it. They <laughs> say, that's my mother never mind but i feel like in my case Mm. Why I'm the way I am because I wasn't I was built off of survival and I love mm -hmm. so it's like a shield. Mm -hmm. So sometimes when I feel like I'm that shield is being broken down, mm. I put that shit back up because I, I automatically in my head think something about to happen. It's a defense mechanism. It is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you have to heal yourself. You got to get that healing right. Because you ain't gonna never find the right person if you're yeah. gonna be having a shield the whole time. Only. And just like you have your defense mechanism, men in America feel like, I well, I need to have my defense mechanism because women, the women are out here. You, there's a culture of women who are using yes. men. Yeah. You know what I mean. So my defense mechanism up. So in order for me to provide for you, I need to know that you're in this for the long haul. You're not using me for my money. Right. You're not using me for my resources, my time, my energy. And so there's, like I said, there's a you, there's a difference. Counterproductive. Like, yeah, like so I I need to know that because my defense is up now because I've dealt with women. Not me personally, but I'm just saying men have dealt with women who have used them. You know what I mean? Who have used them for their money. Obviously, the, the court systems and child and family courts is not the friendliest to to men. Like let's be honest. Like you know what I mean? So you know it's very it's a very unique thing in in America. And like I said, y'all have the ability. Y'all worked hard for the the uh, financial for the freedom rights, for yeah. the the e equal rights to men. Shit, y'all even got more rights than than men in America. Like you know what I'm saying? So it's like you know, it's it's a little different. You know what I mean? So and, and ladies that's dealing with the same situation, I think if you tell the man that you have that defense, because we're that. all assuming. You get what I'm saying? So we just think it. You tried it. I tried it. And what? and all of this that I'm telling you was coming from one person. Use it against me. Did you try yeah. therapy? I've tried it, but I just. But you just what? You don't I like just, the idea. I don't like the idea of sitting there talking to somebody. I don't know. You're not about to tell me about myself, man. I'm gonna get upset. That's so how you job. expect the man? What how the you expect the man to tell you about yourself? You. I don't expect them to tell me about myself, but I expect them like if I come to you and tell you like, listen, I've been through this, that, mm. and the third. Mm. I expect for you to be more soft, like work with me to show mm -hmm. me like. Wow, but why do you, you expect don't have that? To, because, because she's been I'm, through so much. If I'm sitting but here telling he you this, and he's not but a she's telling that. she's telling, telling you, you right now, like I've been through this and this that. I, like I had these traumas. This is why I operate I like this. You. She wants you to move different. Like don't nah. don't build onto that trauma. You can't you can't put that on other people, man. You gotta come into relationship healed. You gotta, but you gotta work on that nah. before you before you look for. I, I agree work with that point. You do have to be healed but sometimes you do need someone else to like help you with, with your healing like help you through that I, process I agree with that 100% but like I said it, you know where it gets hard because a lot of women with a defense mechanism they 
have a lot of red flags that's thrown, and then they try to tell you, when that nigga about to walk out the door, shit, I've been going through some yeah. shit. And you like, it's I ain't like, trying to hear that shit now. It's like, God, it's like, to what you're saying, yeah, it's too late at that point. But if she tells you from the very beginning, like no, no, no. Jay is saying, what, you that's what the she's saying. I didn't tell him in the beginning, but we was having a conversation. He was asking me, like, yeah, you don't show them toxic mean, shit. Why do you? Nah, it wasn't that far along, so it was kind of. It was still early. in the beginning. So he's ask, so he's asking me, and I'm explaining certain things to him or whatever. I'm like, all right, cool. So you know this and third, but the mem- the moment something to go left, he'll just use that shit against me. Like nigga, I just told you last week that. Th- now I don't like you. Now I'm gonna talk and, about and, your And mother. to go back about like what I said ahead. about nothing is guaranteed with American women. You know, you look at I'm gonna use Asian men for example, right? Mm-hmm. And and the in the hierarchy of you know finding like men making money in America is Asian men, the white men, and then I think it's black men, and then Hispanic. All right, Asian men make the most money in this country, right? But their women in America date outside their race the most. You get what I'm saying? So again, even when you making money, that doesn't guarantee you loyalty because Asian women date outside their race the most. It's not as much as the media want to say as black men. No, it's Asian women and it's by a significant number. It's not like about, it's a large number. They date white men and outside their race the most. So even as a Asian man, you worked hard to make all this money. Your woman is not even loyal to you at the end of the day. Because so, it's not about money. So I again, it's different. Like when you when y'all say, "Oh, we need a man to provide," a man can provide, and your loyal your woman don't necessarily it doesn't guarantee any more loyalty, any more sex, any more cooperation, any more femininity. It's it's not because it's nothing. not only about that you're providing, but what else? Yeah, but what, what I'm like, what else are you doing? That, that's are you, fit. Are you that's, giving me? Are you showing me that you love me? Are you giving me reassurance? Are you making me feel special? Like yeah, you provide and the bills is paid, but what? Like I don't, I'm not happy here. It's not just about providing. So that's why those situations are happening, because it's more than that. That, that could be fair. Like, you know I, mean? so, I wish I heard that more. Word. <laughs> Word. That's well, really what it is. It really don't be about money but all the time. Because if, if it was only about money, then everything you saying would happen. He doing everything. Yup, I'm going to be loyal to him, because he's doing everything. That shit made me spin the block back to the original question. Was a real man? Then y'all would have to say it's not about money, and it's about- When I the, gave the, you the, my the, answer the, for no, a real I'm man, I didn't, I didn't say it was only about any money. That was not- Let's run the tape back. But well, what we can say is mostly <laughs> about money, though, because- most of the women in the in the world is fighting for the the richer men in in wherever they at. You yeah. know what I mean? The the top ten percent of men is the men that got all options. Or, or <laughs> his personality is is the reason and why those relationships fail. That that that's all right. Crazy. Yeah, because because then when you get there, you find out that you should have looked for more than just money. When you dating yeah. for money and then he don't got no more money, then what you got? Nothing. The next nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> that's all right. not about to date nobody for their money. Only only your money. Yo, but you, yo, we don't hear that often. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Well, welcome, money, welcome to J and Angel. Let's put our money together. Y'all, y'all, y'all need a podcast. We need a podcast, <laughs> Jay. 